This question is an application of conservation of momentum in two directions. One, two. Because momentum is a vector, the math operations for questions like this are more complex compared to collisions in a single direction. If you want to learn how to solve questions like this, follow along this video and take some notes. This question is from the AES Physics Exam, October, November 2017, paper 23, which is available online. You can download this question to follow along with this video or take notes with me. Make sure to set your calculator to degree mode. I assume at this point you have knowledge of momentum formula and applications because this is an advanced question. Are you ready? So let's begin. Question number three, A. Here is asking to state the principle of conservation of momentum. In an isolated system, the sum of momentum before is equal to the sum of momentum after collision. To receive two marks, you must add in an isolated system. Now we have a description of this diagram. It says, ball A has mass 4 kilograms and ball B has mass 12 kilograms. The balls collide and then move apart as shown in this picture. Ball A has velocity 6 meters per second at an angle data to the direction of its initial path. Ball B has velocity 3.5 meters per second at an angle 30 degrees to the direction of the initial path of ball A. By considering the components of momentum at right angles to the direction of the initial path of ball A, calculate data. Before answering this question, draw the horizontal and vertical components for ball A and B. X for horizontal and Y for vertical. Here is the diagram with components A and B and the question. To calculate the angle data, we use the conservation of momentum in the vertical direction. The sum of momentum upward, we have just one, is equal to the sum of momentum downward, and we have just this one here. The formula for momentum is mass in kilograms times velocity in meters per second. Using the horizontal direction is not a good idea because we don't know the value of the velocity of ball A before collision. So let me explain this slide for you. Here in this green table shows the, the vertical component of ball A and vertical component of ball B in terms of sine. For example, VAY is VA, which is 6, sine of this angle data, because it's a wave. VBY is the value of VB, which is 3.5, sine of the angle 30, because it's a wave. So, in this pink table, I have the masses A and B that was given. And here is the expression for conservation of vertical momentum. So, PA 
momentum of the ball in a the vertical direction is equal to the momentum of the ball also in the vertical direction. So now this step here is the substitutions of the formula of momentum, mass times velocity. The mass of ball A is 4 and VAY is 6 sine of theta. The mass of B is 12 and the, the vertical component of the velocity B is 3.5 sine of 30. In this step, we do substitutions for the values of masses and velocity components in the vertical or y direction. So here we have the values. So let's use our calculator in degrees and calculate the inverse of a sine of 21 divided by 24. And here is the angle, 61 degrees. The next question asks to show the speed of V of ball A is 12 meters per second. Note here that sometimes I say velocity and speed, which is okay. So we are going to use the conservation of momentum at this time in the horizontal direction, which means the sum of momentum before is equal to the sum of momentum after collision. At this point, you know the lowercase p is abbreviation for momentum. So the sum of momentum A and B before collision is equal to the sum of momentum A and B after collision. But note here that you see the X. That means that you need to add the momentum in the same line. So what we have here after collision is VAX and VBX. So VAY and VBY will not take in consideration in the horizontal direction. So this is the expression for momentum. Now let me explain the horizontal components for velocity A and B. So as you see, VAX is close to this angle data. So that's why we are using cosine. So VAX is VA, which is 6, cosine of this data, because it's close. VBX is VB, which is 3.5, cosine, because it's close, to 30. So this is the expression for the horizontal components for velocity A and velocity B. So now, here in this blue table, we have VAY, which is the velocity of ball A before collision, or we call I for initial, is V. We don't know the value. Well, here it says 12, but let's verify it's, if it's 12. And VBI is zero because this ball is initially stationary. That's why it's zero. So now we have this expression here is the substitution for the formula of momentum for each individual momentum. For example, PA is MA times VA, which we don't know, right? BAI. Uh, PB is the mom initial momentum for the ball B, which is the mass of B times zero because it's stationary. For after collision, you have the MA, which is the mass of the ball A, didn't change, times 
the horizontal component of the velocity of A, which is VAX, and soon we are going to do substitution with these values here from this green table. But for now, I just want to explain the expression in terms of abbreviations. So let me finish this. So the momentum B is the mass of B times the velocity of B in the X direction. So now let's do the uh, numerical substitutions. So for the mass of A is 4, A, A here is 4, B is 12, and uh, the velocity of A we don't know, so we keep as V. For the ball B initially it will be 0. After collision, it will be 4 times VAX is 6 cosine of data. Now, data is 61 degrees from the prior question. And uh, MB, VBX is 3.5 cosine of 30. Okay, so now um, use your calculator to, even though you see here a red dawn in front of you, but I would like that you try yourself. And uh, we can conclude the velocity of ball A, the initial velocity of ball A is 12 meters per second. This is the last question. By calculation of kinetic energies, state and explain whether the collision is elastic or inelastic. To answer this question, we need to calculate the sum of kinetic energy involved before and after collision. The formula for kinetic energy is half of the mass multiplied by the velocity square. The sum of kinetic energy before and after collision formulas are shown here. The total kinetic energy before collision is equal to the kinetic energy of ball A plus kinetic energy of ball B. And the sum of kinetic energy after collision is the kinetic energy of ball A and kinetic energy of ball B. The difference between elastic and inelastic collisions. In the elastic collision, the total kinetic energy is conserved. This means that the total kinetic energy before the collision is equal to the total kinetic energy after the collision. The inelastic collision, the total kinetic energy is not conserved. The initial kinetic energy before collision is transformed into other forms of energy. So the total kinetic energy after collision is less than it was before the collision. So now let's find out if this collision for this question from this question is elastic or inelastic. To calculate the, the sum of kinetic energy before collision, we need to do the value substitutions from this pink table to this equation. So here we have the mass of A, which is 4, times the velocity of A, which is 12 meters per second, and for the ball B, 
because the velocity is zero. So this term here is zero. So the kinetic energy before collision is 288 joules. Now let's do substitutions in the kinetic energy equation after collision based on this pink table here. To calculate the energy, we use the original velocity, not the components, because energy is a scalar, not a vector. So we are using here for Velocity A, final or after collision, 6 meters per second. And velocity B, final or after collision, 3.5 meters per second. So in this step, after numerical substitutions and calculations, the kinetic energy after collision is 145 0.5 joules. Now let's compare both results. The kinetic energy is not conserved in this collision. This collision is inelastic since the kinetic energy before is greater than the kinetic energy after the collision due to the loss of energy into other forms like heat and sound. So this is the end of this question. Please keep in mind, this is a standard momentum in two dimensions type of question. So if you got this, you can answer any question I like. Thank you for spending time with me for a few minutes, and I hope it was productive. Hasta la vista.